What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Just want to show you guys a couple of snakes. Got to add some water to some bowls, uh, do some spot cleaning, and I uh, just want to show you guys my pearl, Burmese python. This girl is two years old this month, and she's definitely finally putting on some size. So she's eating uh, some pretty large sized small rats. And I think pretty soon she could probably, I don't know if she could take a medium. She should be able to very soon. But I've just kind of always wanted to uh, grow her just a little bit slower than um, I guess most people. Just want to keep her healthy. Just want to keep her away from a lot of the issues that a lot of Burmese have later in their life when they're power fed early on. So she's about maybe four feet nothing crazy and we're pretty good together right now so when i first got her you guys know that she did have a little bit of an issue with uh striking and hissing and stuff like that but that's super common in a lot of younger uh, burmese and then once they get older they definitely grow out of that and then once they get huge uh, i'm told they pretty much just act like ball pythons super docile they just kind of hang out and uh Really don't do very much they don't really explore a lot once they get big because that's a lot of weight to to drag around i mean they can easily weigh 100 150 pounds without any issues but i love her colors um, i think if you guys are looking into some of the berms definitely check out the pearls and the albino lines because you can never go wrong with any of those even though the uh what if like just a natural common berms look really cool as well so i'm gonna put her back and we'll check out some other animals so here's mountain dew uh, this is a one-year-old green anaconda female and we had a little bit of an issue with her early on earlier on this year with her not wanting to keep food down got some medicine for her and everything's been pretty well for her um, had an issue, she was eating fine, but she kept regurgitating food, and now she's able to keep food down. She is finally on rats, so she's eating at least one or two a week, just kind of trying to get her weight up just a little bit from what has happened, but not trying to push a lot of food into her because she'll get her weight on soon enough. So once they really hit around the two year mark, two to three is really when they kind of start to put on some really good size because pop tart down there is at least five feet not massive by any means but definitely at almost three years old she's getting uh bigger than some of my four-year-old boas so the argentine boa i just put up some paper towels hopefully this is a nice barrier for her and even putting this up like half of her head was sticking out of her little hide and she went crazy like not only does she strike at the glass like she chews on the glass, like she definitely, it's definitely more than just a, a defensive strike. It's, she's gonna hurt herself. So we put that up there, um, just so when I'm walking by and stuff like that, there's no issues, but I will have to worry about when I pull these flaps down, she's probably just gonna come jetting out of there. So kind of have to worry about that. Even if I like peek in at the top here, if she sees any type of a heat signal or sees me or anything, I mean, she's, she's ready to go. But once I get her out, it's strange because once she's out and I have to hook her out, but once she's out, uh, she's perfectly docile and she doesn't strike or anything. So it's definitely kind of weird. So there's a male snow, really good looking snake. Uh, nice colors kind of changing a little bit a little bit of dirt on him but in the next couple of years I don't I really don't know how long that takes but I think it would take a couple of years for them to actually get the nice bright yellow on them and then they do keep the whiteness on their tails and then sometimes their saddles stay white as well which is really cool um, we got the moon glow right here so this girl is awesome looking, really cool tail on her. The Aspen in here is, 
pretty good. I mean, I don't have any issues with it, but it doesn't really make the colors look that great on them when they're in the cages. But they do look better on Repti Chip, I will say that. Let's see if we can get her tail a little bit better. So, the snow and the moon glows are pretty much the exact same animal, except the moon glows have hypo added into them. So, the I think they get more whitish, or stay more whitish than the uh, than the snows. And I think the snow came first, and then somebody added, and then somebody added the hypo, and then so. I, I mean, the names kind of don't really go together, but nonetheless, they're both very, very beautiful animals, and I know a lot of people do like them. Some people don't like them because they're not a very vibrant color. Uh, so this is the IMG Hypo Motley with the jungle, or possible jungle. This is 100% het for... Uh, snow, so it has the het anery and the het albino, and since it is the hypo, uh, it could throw, if you add an albino het or a visual, I could throw moon glows or any other of the possibilities. It would be cool to, if it threw uh, IMG moon glows, but I don't think I've ever seen one of those before, and they don't, I don't know if, they don't get dark, that's for sure. The IMG snows don't get dark, so they look a little weird, but it still is cool to to see them. And then we have this beautiful lady right here. The IMG VPI, so I don't know, it makes me nervous because she's I don't want to get sometimes she can throw an attitude. So breeding boas, um Sometimes, sometimes they do die. Sometimes they do have complications. So it would be cool to try to breed her in five years. But then again, I don't, I don't know if I want to take the risk of losing these beautiful animals. I mean, not just her, any of them. But obviously, people uh, have good success, and there is some reward to it. You got to take the bad with the good on the breedings. But I mean, all of these boas it would be, it'd be heartbreaking to lose any of them for breeder projects. And since it takes, you know, four to five years on a female, you really do bond with them and spend a lot of time with them just for them to die, just to reproduce them. Uh, this guy is going, should be going into shed here very soon. So where is my spray bottle? So we know that the humidity is kind of not the greatest in the ARS racks, whether it's my fault or not. So we're just going to miss this down because he should be shutting out here in the next three or four days. Should be enough. And then we'll check out everybody's favorites, the VPI Aztec. And this is the sister to the VPI IMG. So she has a horrible attitude and then that is why she can sometimes throw an attitude as well. But, oh, well, there we go. So I haven't really put much time into her in the last week because I went on vacation and then uh, just getting back, I had to clean and, and, you know, I do have a 10 hour day job. So cleaning, working, and everything else that I have to do around the house. So I might have to make another video since I only have one hand to do this, um, it probably wouldn't be the best to try to stress her out any more than she is. But this girl is, I mean, beautiful colors, beautiful patterns on her. We'll just put her back. So I was going to take, I was going to try to hold her. But I think on another video, I'll take out the tripod and try to do a little bit better on that. So I know a lot of people don't like the, uh, the ball pythons, which is perfectly fine. Some people don't like boas. Some people don't like anacondas or even Burmese, but one year old, a little over a one year old. So we'll just give her some, some water. Pastel clown, female. I like them. I, I mean, I, I know I say this a lot, but my first two snakes were ball pythons. I got into the boas. Um, 
and that's just, I mean, boas are the snakes that I really, really do love. And then as like around last year, I started getting into the clowns and a lot of these different style of pides. And some of these combos that they throw with the colors and stuff, they're just amazing. And so they're just really nice to look at when I come in here every day. And this lady is just a regular, so just a regular pied. She is definitely in shed. We'll give her some water. And then once her eyes go back to clear, then I'll spray this down just so we don't have any issues on uh, the shedding. So this lady's a black pastel pied. <clears throat> pretty cool they can throw some awesome combos with a whole bunch of different other stuff this girl just ate and this is a super fly clown so fire super pastel and then clown really cool colors I love the yellows and uh, oh there we go we got some got some blood on her some live action right there kind of had <clears throat> and for, oh. So I got rats and so this is a yellow fly or the uh, fire and she yellow belly pie and this girl. I don't know why they always a lot of them hiss, but this girl looks really awesome for a pied. A lot of nice markings. Um, so I'm still trying to learn a lot of these genes, and I don't and I was told the yellow belly, you can tell the yellow belly on the pie because it has like the pixelated patterns. But to me, a lot of them have pixelated patterns. And I'm kind of learning, or kind of noticing that a lot of snakes, once you throw a bunch of morphs into them, they all kind of look alike. So, on the whole rat thing, I got a bunch of rats the other night, and um, I put them all in a big tub because I was gonna feed them off, you know, the next day or whatever. So I was busy, I got them Thursday night, I was busy, yesterday was Friday. So Saturday morning, uh, I had small rats and then I had rat pups and normally I can keep them together for at least a day or two and nothing happens. I put food and water in there, but I was checking on them this morning and uh, the big ones killed the little ones. My fault, I should not have had them, had them together. Um, they didn't eat them yet, but they killed them and only three were still alive. So I fed one to the super the super fly clown. Um, I put one into the newest one, the the leopard yellow belly clown, and then the fire enchi clown she ate, which is good, so she's in here and she ate. So I really don't want to mess around with her too much, but it just is a bummer because I should have had, you know, five other snakes to feed. Now I don't. So now I gotta wait just a couple more days to go back and get more, which sucks. But now I know not to leave rat pups with uh, with any larger rats. So my fault on that. Feel bad because obviously they got destroyed by other other rats, and then now my snakes can't eat. So I'll just go get some food the uh, next couple of days and try to feed them off. I'm gonna feed off all the bigger rats to the other year-old uh, ball pythons, and then everything should work out. I have to feed the bigger boas over there. I gotta feed the berm. I gotta feed her. So a lot of feeding. Everybody's on a different schedule. So everybody eats differently. Everybody goes to the bathroom differently. So it's a lot of cleaning, a lot of maintenance. But um, I don't have that big of a collection. So it's still enjoyable. It's not like it's a huge chore or anything. Or It does take some time, but you know, this, is our, this is our passion and this is our hobby. So you gotta take the you know, you gotta take the, the gross stuff with the good um, on, on all of it. So that's really it, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll see you guys on the next video.